Hello everyone, welcome to the Ichimoku.co Daily Futures Market Review for the trading day ending Tuesday, June 7th. Firstly to gold futures and uh, here we see a confirmed change of trend for today's trading, a current candle forming a lower high and a lower low and that's off the back of the indecisive candle at the end of that significant uh, uptrend uh, that uh, began from down below the 12.18 level with the buyers showing some very strong commitment to take out the Ichimoku cloud. Previously on that spinning top type candle the cloud had held support but for today the cloud has now held as resistance and the market has been unable to penetrate back up through the cloud. Um, the close has just been below the uh, the cloud suggesting just a slightly negative market in big picture terms but so close to the cloud that we're uh, we're neutral now uh, even though we have seen that change of trend form uh, we have seen the sellers lose commitment in a major way with this very long shadow on the bottom of the small body candle it suggests uh, that the 1237.9 level has been an important area in terms of the buyers coming into the market and uh, with the buyers taking control by closing up between the midpoint level and the high, it suggests that there is an opportunity here for the buyers to change the trend back to the upside. But they will need to trade through some strong resistance, firstly at the 1250 level, then at the Kijin Sen around uh, roughly about 1252, 1253, then at the bottom of the cloud about the 1253, 1254 level, and then up at the top of the cloud around 1261. So a lot of uh, resistance overhead for this market. So the buyers are going to have to really show some you know, significant strength to trade this market high. But just looking at the recent past, they have shown strength in this market recently. And uh, the ability of the uh, sellers to counteract this strong buying that we saw previously has been uh, really inconsequential. And it does suggest that the buyers may uh, uh, continue to be the stronger party here and they may exert their force once again in an attempt to break out through the top of the cloud. Very often when we see these extreme candles, we don't tend to see strong follow through. The buyers will tend to have a bit of a rest and it's really important how the sellers react and they haven't reacted in a decisive manner here. Important however to the downside will be the 1237.9 level of support uh, and it will be uh, almost as important as the strong resistance overhead. Next to the uh, to, next to NYMEX oil, NYMEX oil futures, and uh, strong buying uh, in this market today. If you recall the previous day's trading, we were looking at the uh, uh, bullish attempt off the support at the Tenkan indicator. A uh, strong white body candle. We haven't seen that type of white body uh, for the last couple of weeks. The market testing uh, around the Tenkan support, holding a support for the past six or seven trading days. The market testing down there and being rejected. We and decisive candles but for that candle yesterday it was very different in character than the rest and it was a solid bullish candle with the buyers taking control showing strong commitment uh, and it did suggest that the buyers were attempting to build momentum to breach through $50 and they have done so today. A strong bullish close up above here suggests that there is potential for strong follow through but very often we don't tend to see that after we uh, trade through uh, these significant uh, levels. Uh, if we don't see the trend continue solidly to the upside uh, we may see the market attempt to come off but it uh, is likely to be a fairly weak attempt and we are now likely to see strong support coming in uh, around around this round number $50 level. Um, if the market does trade down through there, the Tengen Sen may continue to hold a strong support. It trades at 49.19. In terms of Ichimoku, uh, still a strong bullish market in all three time frames supported by the Chikaspan. 